so good evening everyone today we are going to start our class right uh, with the exponential growth which we have discussed in the previous class but before starting the class let me know um, audible and visible to you or not through this technical poll okay great then so i am audible and visible both to you so now we are going to start with the previous topic a little summary of the previous topic so in the previous topic we have talked about the exponential growth the exponential growth right so in a exponential growth we have seen that this growth curve is represented by the j shape right it is represented by the uh, just a minute uh sorry for the disturbance okay here it is okay so we are talking about the exponential growth right so this exponential growth we have seen it is represented by the j shape curve it is represented by the j shape curve so when we see the j shape curve here so it is present here this is our j shape curve which is having only two phases this j shape curve is having only two phases thick phase is the log phase right this is the log phase of the curve and this phase shows that the organism is taking time to get adjusted with the environment right this is showing the phase in which the organism is getting adjusted to the environment and then after this log phase we have a steep slope or a straight line here which is representing the lag phase that is the exponential phase right so this exponential shows a rapid growth of the organism this can only be possible when there is unlimited resource present this can only be possible when the resource is unlimited okay when the resource can be limited the competitions starts and the number of individuals started decreasing due to that competition but here it is not possible and here it is there no plateau or decline or decreasing curve is not there so we can say here we have the unlimited supply of resources so the graph has a particular equation and that differential equation is dn upon dt so it is a differential form that is the change in the number of population the change in the number of population or the size of population with respect to the time okay so here we are talking about the change in population with respect to time which is given by the b minus d into n that where b is the birth rate d is the death rate when we decrease the or when we deduce or deduct the death rate from the birth rate only then we will find the organism's number is increasing and that get multiplied with the previous number of the individuals or the population size so if we take a particular constant for this 
b minus d that is r okay this r is also known as intrinsic rate of natural increase okay this is the intrinsic factor of an organism which makes it helpful to increase or reproduce okay as the number of r value or the uh, the r value increases the slope also increases okay so it is a most important parameter it is the most important parameter for assessing the impact of biotic and abiotic factor as you know the biotic and abiotic factors both affect our ecosystem so we had we have studied already so it is the factor which is also uh, affecting the reproduction rate of an organism so the r is important for our exponential growth apart from exponential growth represented by dn by dt upon d upon uh, dn upon dt is equals to r into n it is also represented by its integral form the previous one equation was the differential form here we have the integral form of equation okay which is given by nt that is the population size after a time period okay after a time period of t then we have n not which is the population size at the time zero for example if you are taking a population at the time of 2000 the year 2000 it will be taken as n not okay but after 10 year as you know the census always takes place if you are taking the example of human the census takes place only after 10 years so now we have the year 2010 so 2010 is your nt so the year 2000 was the n not that is the time zero but here the nt is representing the year 2010 that is the current year of our census which is represented by n not is e into e raised to power rt that is the exponential or logarithm of the rate multiplied by the intrinsic rate of natural increase okay so these two equations are very important to you have to remember the uh, differential form and then you have the exponential or integral form of the equation for the exponential growth curve now we are moving towards our today's topic that is the logistic growth curve so this logistic growth curve is representing when there is no population in nature having unlimited source the most important thing to remember to representing a logistic growth is the not provision of unlimited resources just like the exponential one here we have a very limited size of resource or very limited supply of resource so this limited supply of resource always lead to the competition which we have already discussed when the sources are limited it always generates a competition among the individuals okay and this competition always re, uh, make the survival of the fittest which always leads to the natural selection right we have already studied this thing that the survival of fittest is the thing which always nature selects for itself okay so here in the exponential growth we have seen the r was the intrinsic factor that was the responsible for the growth of an organism which is representing or which is finding out that how and how much is that organism or the population is increasing but here for the logistic growth we have the another constant that is k which is a capacity carrying or carrying capacity constant okay this is the capacity carrying constant you can see here this s shape curve here we have the s shape curve which is also known as the sigmoid curve okay it is also known as the sigmoid curve has attained a stationary plateau after reaching this k value 
okay because it is the only capacity if our resource gets limited okay we also have to limit the population size so that the demand of population can be met with the resources availability okay if this thing doesn't happen the stability be lost and the population start declining if we are not maintaining the stability and the lip, uh, rip resources started depleting so it will lead to the decline of an a population size okay so in this graph the sigmoid graph or the for the logistic group we have different we have different phases in the exponential growth we have seen only two phases first was the log phase which is the adaptation phase second was the lag phase which was a exponential phase where we have seen the rapid increase in the population size right but now here as the resources become limited we have seen the different phases we have the three different phases here the lag phase remain the same the phase of acceleration is also the same which is equals to the lag phase but then we have the deceleration phase okay here we have the deceleration phase where the size or the reproduction rate suddenly started decreasing right and as i said if the stability is not maintained it will further lead to the decline that is the a sum 2 okay and such kind of graph which is representing the logistic growth curve is also known as wolhurst pearl logistic growth wolhurst pearl logistic growth and it has its own a uh, differential equation which is represented by dn by dt is equals to rn multiplied by the k minus n upon k where k is as i said it is the carrying capacity constant r is the intrinsic rate whereas n is the population size okay population density at a particular time so the exponential growth is very imaginary thing because every time we have a uh, resources so only this logistic growth curve or this logistic growth is the real one because a uh, times appear in a future when the resources start getting depleted or they are not meeting the need of an organism due to their rapid growth is it clear to everyone okay now as i have told you we have two types of growth curves the j shaped curve the s shaped curve the j shaped curve is showing showing the exponential growth having only two phase then we have the s shaped curve that is showing the logistic growth which is having the three phase okay the lag log and a uh, matlab d accelerating now here is the question for you in which phase is the uh, stationary phase absent your question says out of the given phases in which phase the stationary phase is absent okay your options are a sigmoidal growth b exponential growth c decreasing growth or d d acceleration growth you don't have any stationary phase so in which phase you are uh, in which growth curve you are not seeing that stationary phase okay great so the phase in which no stationary phase is present is the exponential growth as we have seen we have two types of curves the j curve remember the j curve is the only curve which is having only two phases the log phase and the lag phase there we don't have any third phase that is your stationary phase now moving towards the life 
okay why the reproduction is so important so peel population always evolve the population always evolve to maximize their reproductive fitness and that was also explained by the example of darwinian fitness that is the natural selection so it says under a particular pressure organism always evolve towards the efficient reproductive strategy that is also expressing the survival of the fittest here so if some organism breed only once there are different types of organism right if the organism is breeding once in a lifetime okay they are going to produce a large number of offspring obviously if they are surviving uh, reproducing one they have to maintain their number so they are producing a large number of population but when they breeds many time they produce a small number of offspring right because at every phase of time on the coming years they are keep on reproducing so that is why okay so the organism which produce a large number of small side uh, size of springs are oysters and pelagic fishes whereas the organism which are producing small number of large side of springs are birds and mammal that we can say the higher organism okay or uh, so this fact indicate that the life history of an organism is always evolved due to the limited biotic and abiotic factors because that always make the organism to evolve according to the changing conditions now we are moving towards our next and last topic of this chapter that is the population interaction the last topic is the population interaction here we have we are talking about the population interactions that means we have two different population which are interacting with each other okay here we are talking about the biological community and when we are talking about the biological community we are always talking about the interaction between the two species it is also known as interspecific interaction when the two species are interacting with each other it is also known as interspecific interaction and it can be expressed in six different ways it can be mutualism it can be competition it can be predation parasitism commensalism or amensalism okay so this can be shown by this tabular graph but before reading this tabular form let's move to the single single understanding of each and every type of interaction so first we have the predation type of interaction predation so predation always remind us of two words the predator and the prey okay we always remind the two words the predator and the prey predator one who is hunting someone and prey who got hunted okay predators are those organisms who are hunting someone and prey are the organism who get hunted right so in a broad ecological content we have the herbivores and the carnivores or in the another another way we can say we have the producers and the consumers okay out of which the 25% insects are phytophagous which are consuming the pho uh, phototrophic organism so if a predator is over exploited its prey okay if the predator is keep on exploiting the prey then a time came when the prey become completely extinct right see if the lion is only like the flavor of cattle example le lete hain that we have several kind of species as a prey deer hai deer is there cattle is there pig is there but 
lion is only uh, liking the flavor of cattle okay so every time when it went for hunt it always went for the hunt of cattle okay it is not going for the deer or the pig it is always going for the cattle so when the lions keep on hunting the cattle again and again and again and apart from lion some other consumers as well such as wolf okay they also start at, uh, attacking on the cattle then the time appears when this cattle get completely extinct okay therefore it results in the extinction of predator also ab bhai khana khatam ho jayega to tum aage kya khaoge kuch nahi you have nothing to eat in future if you keep on over eating one thing so after the cattle die obviously your lion will die because lion is not liking another an, an uh, animal to be their diet or meal right so this predators in nature are prudent okay so what is the importance of predatorship it control the prey population for example we have chicken there are carnivorous people also or non vegetarians are there vegetarians are there right if non vegetarian people don't eat the chicken like take an example we have maize maize is eaten by the chicken and chicken is eaten by the human okay if human stop eating chicken as the chicken is a small organism it will reproduce rapidly so their population keep on increasing inki population badh jayegi right human humne hata diya when their population increases it will start eating it will start consuming all the maize ab bhai human to do category ke the na one who are vegetarian another who are non vegetarian if non vegetarian stop eating chicken and move towards some another kind of non veg like mutton fishes oyster sea food something else and they left the chicken thode yaar bore ho gaye se kha ke ab nahi kha sakte hum isme theek hai then this chicken become a very hectic or they become dangerous for the vegetarian why because they keep on eating the plants the chicken to non vegetarian nahi hai na it is eating the plant so it start removing the plants there ab jab plants khatam ho gaye plants nahi rahenge to vegetarians kya karenge ultimately it will affect your human so this predation also help to control the prey population as you can see here another example is given the prickly pears uh, cactus introduced in australia in 1920 and caused havoc by spreading they keep on spreading later it was controlled by introducing a cactus feeding predator moth ab bhaiya condition itni badhiya thi na environment itna mast tha ke cactus ka laga chalo bhai ab to mauj aagi khoob khao piyo aur grow karo but that over population of cactus become problematic so we have to reduce their population to reducing that we have introduced the cactus feeding predator that is moth so there is not every time harm hamesha emotional hoke aise nahi hona chahiye bhavuk nahi hona chahiye that oh isne to usko kha liya nahi that is all the comes under biological cycle okay so we have to maintain the predator and prey population okay jo hamara predator hai wo bhi to kisi na kisi ka prey banna hi aage next these as you say uh, as i said they are used for the control method and these predators maintain the specific diversity in a community by reducing the competition among prey species are they we have two types of grasshopper for example okay and they are keep on fighting for a single type of crop okay so there is a good competition we have to reduce the competition among one grasshopper ek kahani le lete hain iske liye let's have a story so we have two types of grasshopper grasshopper green grasshopper red okay now there was a frog 
who likes to eat the red grasshoppers most so one day the uh, the leader of red grasshopper who is very clever he uh, met with the frog and make an agreement please stop eating us we'll give you some more delicious grasshoppers you are unable, you will not like us after having those grasshoppers so usne apni cleverness use kari aur usne kaha chalo bhai aap grey ka wale use karna shuru karo green wale grasshoppers khane shuru kar do so when he started eating the green grasshoppers the competition between the green and the red one decreases by the cleverness of the red one because they were both feeding on the same frog so we can say this predators also maintain the species diversity example another example is here that the predator is starfish predator the predator here is starfish predator which is found in the american pacific coast okay in an experiment all these starfishes were removed from an enclosed intertidal area it causes the extinction of over 10 invertebrate species sirf ek predator ke hatane se dekho kitne sare prey gayab ho gaye due to interspecific competition okay then we have the competition right the competition as you know the survival of the fittest jo sabse acha rahega jo strong rahega usi ki lat gharna hai so it is the process in which the fitness of one species is significantly lower in the presence of another species only the stronger ones will survive and the weaker one has to be leave the place so this always take place in between the interspecies competition as you can see here in two pictures okay there are two jackals who are competing with each other for a single piece of meat or in a second picture you can see there is jackal and the tiger present there or lion is present there and they both are competing and according to you which will win obviously the tiger will win because the tiger is stronger enough than the jackal to remove them or to make them leave that particular area now these competition can also takes place in unrelated species for the same resource okay this un uh, competition can also take place between the unrelated species for the same resource for example flamingos and fishes okay in the south america lake compete they compete for the zoo plankton they are competing for the zoo plankton competition can also uh, uh, abundant occur in abundant resources also for example in interference competition the feeding efficiency of one species is reduced due to the presence of other species example le lete hain aap aur aapka dost you and your friend so when you were alone at home mamma has made a good plate of maggi for you but suddenly your friend appears usko smell aa gayi kahin se ki ha bhai aaj iske ghar maggi bani hai chalo aaj iske ki maggi kha ke aayenge so when your friend come up you have to share your maggi now so when the another species get introduced in the same area for the same resource the species uh, feeding efficiency also reduces okay ab jahan tumhe ek plate maggi milne wali thi ab sirf tumhe kitni milegi half plate of maggi okay so there are some evidence of uh, competition there also the first one say uh, is from the abington tortoise from the galapagos island kahan padha tha galapagos island koi batayega right we have studied the galapagos island name in the darwin's theory of natural selection he went on a voyage for the Five years and ended up his voice on reaching some island. That was the Galapagos Island. 
so it example says these particular species of tortoise become extinct within just 10 years after the goats were introduced there because the goats have the great browsing they can move from here to there very quickly so they keep on eating the all vegetation there as compared to the tortoise because they can roam only very slowly okay so due to which they become hungry and due to the starvation they keep on dying and this is how leads to the extinction of this specific species of tortoise okay the second uh, second evidence is from the competitive release that it is the expansion of distributional range of species when the competing species is removed what happened here we have uh, we have removed one species so here we have two species of what we have two species here of the barnacles we have two species here of the barnacles so here the larger species of barnacle is balanus it competitively removed it dominated over the small species of barnacle that is catamelus okay so the ba uh, balanus was the dominating over the catamelus so due to the domination of balanus the catamelus get extinct okay so the cornell's field experiment showed that okay next experiment we got for the competitive uh, interaction is gauss competitive exclusive principle it says two closely related species competing for the same resource cannot exist right ek hi source ke liye ladne wali do species kabhi bhi exist nahi kar sakte the good example is given here you can see in this picture in a first picture there was only a one type of bird that was a yellow bird who are feeding on the beetles which are present on the tree the beetles were shown with a black dots then another bird appeared the red bird appeared there which were also who are also feeding on the same beetles right so when they are of same species and now they are have the equal strength and they are still competing for the same resource none of them will get the enough resource okay for that we got some solution that solution is the resource partitioning ab in logo ne kya kara ek beech ki understanding nikali theek hai they say the red one will eat all the beetles which are just present only on the trunk of the tree whereas the yellow one will survive on the ground and the canopy of the tree theek hai ab bhai jisko jitna resource milega ab uske luck ki baat hai humne kya kara area baat diya we have distributed the area for the different food so accordingly they will have their food and this resource partitioning idea was given by the mac arthur it is given by the mac arthur he showed that the five closely related species of warblers living on the same tree and they avoid competition and coexisted unko koi ladai jhagda nahi chahiye tha they were very happy to stay together so they have maintain a mutual they have a mutual understanding for their growth so due to their behavioral differences and their foraging activity they have taken a specific region for their feeding and lodging okay so for that your question here is who gave the following sentence two closely related species competing for the same source cannot coexist indefinitely and the competitively inferior will be eliminated eventually kon kisne kaha tha ki jo 
हमारी इंफीरियर स्पीशीज है वो पूरी तरह से एलिमिनेट हो जाएगी व्हेन द सुपीरियर स्पीशीज कम अप इन द कंपटीशन फॉर द सेम रिसोर्स so you have to give your answer through this poll and your options are a gauss competitive exclusion principle mutual uh, mutational theory theory of special creation and theory of organic evolution so give your answer okay great so the answer is a the gauss competitive exclusion principle because rest three options were uh, example of your evolution they are related to the evolution but here we are not talking about the evolution of plants or animals so our first option is the correct answer that is gauss competition competitive exclusion principle the next type of interaction we have is the parasitism okay the parasitism that means one organism is going to survive on the another organism so here we have the two organism one is parasite another is host so this is a plus and minus relation where the parasite is getting benefit and host is getting harm okay so for that host is also very clever they both start evolving why they both start evolving host obviously evolving to resist the parasitism he always wants the host always wants to get rid of the parasite so they keep on evolving right but parasite is also smart it also start evolving so that the host can not take or get rid of him okay so the parasite evolve mechanism to counteract and remain on the same host whereas the host was evolving the mechanism against the parasite to avoid the parasitic living okay then this during this evolution parasite get some adaptation the first is loss of sense organ the presence of adhesive organ when they get attached to the host none of us is uh, able to remove them then their loss of digestive system digestive system ka kya karna hai पकी पकाई जब खिचड़ी मिल रही है तो भैया उसे खाओ हजम तो अपने आप ही हो जानी है वो आप जब न्यूट्रिएंट्स मिल रहे हैं वी आर गेटिंग डायरेक्ट न्यूट्रिएंट्स व्हिच वी डोंट नीड टू डाइजेस्ट बिकॉज दे आर कंप्लीटली डाइजेस्टेड फॉर्म सो देर इज नो यूज ऑफ हैविंग डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम देन द हाई रिप्रोडक्टिव कैपेसिटी अरे भाई अब जब मौका मिला है तो क्यों ना होस्ट से सारा फायदा एक ही बार में उठा लिया जाए और अपनी पॉपुलेशन बढ़ाई जाए राइट सो दिस इज हाउ द पैरासाइट गेट द एडेप्टेशन दीज आर द एडेप्टेशन थ्रू विच पैरासाइट आर स्टिल एग्जिस्टिंग एंड परफॉर्मिंग द पैरासिटिक मोड सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन दर मोड ऑफ एक्शन वी हैव द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ पैरासाइट एक्टो पैरासाइट सेकेंड एंडो पैरासाइट एंड थर्ड the brood parasites you are familiar with these two terms the ecto and the endo parasite the ecto staying on the outer surface of the host for example lice and leech right and apart from that we have the endo parasite who are living inside the body of the host inside the body of host that is a good example is ascaris liver fluke right now what is this brood parasite these are the parasites who take the advantage of the another organism the very good excellent or excellent example here is the coel 
and the crow you know the spring is the breeding season spring is the breeding season for both crow and quail so what happens quail places her egg places the egg in the nest of crow places her eggs in the nest of crow so the why it is a why the quail get successful there because the eggs of the quail and the crow both are familiar or similar in looking okay so due to their similar looking the quail is very clever to place her egg in the crow nest and crow will incubate crow will incubate now crow is going to incubate the eggs till they hatch okay so brood parasites are those who are not harming the another species but they are taking advantage of those species for their own benefit okay next mode of interaction is commensalism next mode of interaction is commensalism okay in commensalism we have the positive negative interaction that means one organism is getting advantage benefits but another one has no effect okay the example here is orchids the orchid flower green uh, grows on the branches of mango but mango has no effect because it is not a parasite it is just taking a shelter on the branches of mango so mango remain unaffected so orchid can easily grow orchid get the shelter there then barnacles which are growing on the back of the base you can see the small fishes the barnacles growing on the back of whale then the cattle egret these are the cattle egret they are you have seen most of the time these egrets keep on sitting on the body of cattle in a fields because whenever the cattle got some insects while grazing they shake their head okay due to which the insects get thrown and egret be able to catch those insects otherwise the egret will uh, unable to catch those insect okay then we have the sea anemone and clownfish these tentacles of the sea anemone is poisonous these tentacles are poisonous but the clown uh, clownfish has no effect of this poison so the clownfish is taking self shelter in the tentacles of the sea anemone because this due to the presence of these poisonous tentacles none other organism is going to harm the clown fish so clown fish is getting a good protection and shelter there but sea anemone having no benefit or negative effect due to the presence of clown fish next we have the mutualism or we also no called it the symbiotic relation we also call it the symbiotic relation okay so here the organism are working on their mutual understanding the good example is lichen lichen is the uh, mutual relation of fungus and the algae where fungus is providing the raw material and algae is making the food okay then the mycorrhiza it is the association between the fungi and the roots of vascular plants that is the higher plant here the fungi is helping our plant to absorb the essential nutrient whereas the fungus is getting the carbohydrate the made uh, ready made food from those plants okay next the example of mutualism is the fig tree and the wasp if you have seen the fig there are so many wasps present these wasps are actually 
helping the fig flowers to be get pollinated and for the dispersal of seed okay here the wasps are looking for the site of their egg pollination they are looking for the site for their egg pollination so fig flower and fig fruit is a good source or good place for their egg laying whereas the female wasp uh, key when they keep on moving from here to there they help in the pollination of fig flower okay so here we have the question what is the relation what is the relation between organisms of different species where an organism is benefited and other is harmed for here we have relation between the organism of two different species here we have the two different species where one organism is getting benefit and another is getting harm that means here we are talking about the positive negative interaction okay so give your answer through this poll so about which type of relation we are talking about here okay great we have studied so many types of relation in which the both species having the negative effect or either they having the positive effect even some stays neutral so here we are talking about the positive and negative negative effect the positive negative effect is only shown in the parasitism where the parasite always get the benefit by sucking the nutrients from the host body and host get the ha huh. due to the loss of nutrients right so the correct answer is a next question is what is the adaptation okay uh, for this your uh, poll is here what is an adaptation in which an organism matches its color with the surrounding okay which kind of adaptation it is by of an organism in which it opts or matches its color with the surrounding to get the protection from predator that means this organism here is a prey the organism here is a prey who is trying to hide or get mixed up with the environment to get protection so this property is known as okay so let's discuss all the points first mimicry that means enacting okay mimicry means enacting here the predator will start acting like a prey or the prey will start acting like a predator okay which is not right because here we are talking about the change of color with the surrounding third one is saying the parasitism here one organism is not surviving on the another right so parasitism also get cancel commensalism can also not be the answer the only option left here is camouflage so the correct answer for this question is camouflage that is getting mixed with the surrounding environment by changing the color is it okay to everyone i hope everyone got the correct answer and the correct understanding of each and everything so this is all for today and this is all about our today's chapter or this chapter right so before leaving the class please give your uh, feedback through nps poll and while launching your feedback in a nps poll please keep in mind you have to go through the each and every line of the ncert and also practice your what the module questions okay so if you have any doubt you can leave in a chat box or you can uh, leave a message or we can discuss your doubts in a 
next class okay so this is all for today thank you for your feedback and we'll meet in a next class with a new chapter